folks. So we have, I can't tell if this is blurry or not. Dag on autofocus. Anyway, we've got three strip steaks. I called ahead and had them cut fresh to one and a quarter inch. If you can do that, do that because sometimes when they pre-cut them, they sit out in the in the um, cooler or the display area and they kind of dry out. So call ahead and have them cut it. Plus, they'll cut a little thicker for you. Anyway, these are strips. Normally, I don't do strips, but these were nicely marbled. You can see marbling through them. Typically, they're not this well marbled. Usually, I do ribeyes, but we're going to be real simple about it. Just a little olive oil on each. Rub it in. And then kosher salt. And you are, you have to be somewhat liberal. We're doing this kind of the Ruth's Chris way of doing it, so they're pretty liberal with the salt. These are big, thick cuts of meat, so while you think it's a lot, it's in comparison to the amount of meat you got, it's not a ton. <clears throat> and now we're going to, oh, we're going to crack on the pepper. And you want it to be kind of nice, big, freshly cracked grounds of pepper. I also let these steaks rest, believe it or not, for close to two hours. You're not going to get sick. Don't worry about it. You want them to come to room to temperature because we're going to do it on cast iron and really quickly in a very high temperature sear them and then finish them off in the oven. So I'm going to flip these over, do the other sides. So I'm going to be ready to cook some steaks. I'm going to spread that pepper a little bit better too. All right, cast iron, smoking hot. Put a little olive oil in there. I would typically do this outside, but it's dark out there, and you guys can't see. And Liz is going to get mad because it's going to smoke. But oh well, the things I do for you folks. So, sorry, this back. So let's start. What we're going to do is sear it. We've let these sit for two hours, so they're pretty much lukewarm. Isn't that a pretty sound? Typically, I would not crowd steaks like this, but I have no choice because I've got three people. But the heat is also strong off of there. So I feel pretty good about it. So we're going to sear this. All right, we're almost done searing. Uh, a couple of things I wanted to mention to you. Sometimes an indoor steak like this, I like it. I mean, I like grilling a steak outside. I like the taste of a little bit of smoke on uh, the steaks or in the steaks. But when you do it this way, you're really getting just pure beef flavor without the intrusion of the smoke. So sometimes this is a nice change. So it's been about three minutes. Let's see what we got here. Oh, perfect. So you can see how it's kind of nice and caramelized there. Uh, it's really important that you have this thing flaming hot otherwise you kind of stew the steak you don't want to do that all right those are looking pretty good we're going to do these for another two to three minutes on the other side and again i've got this on flaming i mean absolutely torqued up as high as i can get it uh, so we're then going to put it in the oven, which I have on broil, preheat to 500 to finish it. And a little rule about how do you tell when a steak is done. We like ours medium, medium rare. Take your hand and just touch your index finger to your thumb. Don't press, just let them touch and touch the pad of your thumb. That is a rare steak. The next one is medium, medium rare-ish. Then you've got uh, medium here, uh, which is the ring finger. And then the pinky, that's just, that's crap. You've totally burnt your steak as far as I'm concerned. That's like a rock. So that's a good way to t test the doneness of your steaks. So these are about an inch and a half thick now, or an inch and a quarter. So uh, a smaller, thinner steak, you might, you, put, you will not have to put it in the oven, but I'm going to put these in the oven for probably three to five minutes at uh, 500 degrees just to finish them off. So, uh, we'll be right back. We're almost done here. Alright, I flipped them over one time, again, just to see the other side. 
Very nice texture, nice and caramelized. So now it's time to go into the oven at 500 on broil. All right, so we're going to move these out of the cast iron because there's still a lot of heat there onto a plate and add a little butter, believe it or not, to the top of them because that's how you do it with it with Chris. We're going to tent it. We're going to let them rest for just a little bit. You could really make a very nice steak sauce with what's left there, but we're not going to do that tonight. We've got mushrooms that we're going to have with it. but. Uh, we're going to dab a little butter on there, tempt it, and we'll be ready to eat.